All right, welcome to section 6.4. This is the example for calculator part. Sorry, I don't have the best setup for my camera at the moment, but this will do for now. All right, so as I mentioned in the video, when we're looking at trying to find angles between zero degrees and 36 degrees that satisfy cosine theta equals 0 0.4, what we're gonna do in our calculator is write y sub 1 equals cosine, and we're going to use x versus theta. A lot of students mentioned they had problems with that, and I had forgotten to mention that in the video. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're splitting it up into the two sides, cosine of theta and 0 0.4. So let me go ahead and do that in my calculator. Turning on my calculator right there, we're going to go to y equals, this button right here, click that. And as you can see, I already inputted it, cosine x and 0 0.4. The next thing we want to make do or want to make sure of, is that our window is correct. What does that mean? Well, that's the scale we're going to be graphing with. Let's go ahead and hit window. Right there, that button. We hit that, and we want to make sure that our minimum is zero. Why are we doing that? Well, because we're looking between zero and 360. And now 360 is actually the same as 2 pi. So we'll go ahead and into x max, you're going to click 2, and then hit second, this button here, to get pi. And there we go. And then for your scales, you want to leave x scale as 1, y minimums. So you could go ahead and do negative pi. So negative second pi. And then for x max, you would just go ahead and hit second pi. And then scaling wise and 1 is good. So we're going to go ahead and hit graph. And there you go. You can see cosine of x is graphing on our screen. And then in comes the 0.4. Awesome. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and sketch what we have. We have our cosine value and then we have our 0 0.4. Now recall we want to figure out these two intersection points because that is when these two are equal to each other. How do we find that? Well that is what I mentioned for the steps for finding that in the video. So finding that. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and hit second trace. So second is right there, the blue button second and trace. We're going to go down to intersect, or you could click five, hit enter. And now we got this little sort of button hanging out. So we're going to go ahead and find the first one. So I'm going to follow this curve until I'm pretty close to the intersection. It's asking me if that is the first curve and I'm going to say, yes, it is the first curve. So hit enter. The little guy, a little bleeding button will appear again on the other curve, the straight one. And it's going to ask me, is that the second curve? That's what it's asking me right there. And I'm going to say yes. So I'll hit enter. And then it's going to ask me, should I guess the intersection? And I'm going to say yes, enter. So now at the moment, I get the, the answer of x is approximately equal to 1.1592795. Which, if you recall, we are given we're trying to find angles in degrees. And at the moment, this is not degrees. This is an answer in radians. So we're going to have to convert that. But let's find the other one first before we work on the conversions. Same thing. We're going to go ahead and do second trace. And now we're going to try to find the intersection of the other value. So we'll go ahead and move over to here, closer to the other intersection. Because if you did it in the same spot, it would give you that intersection there. So to find the other one, we're going to move closer to it. Keep hitting that right arrow. And there we go, hit enter. Go for the second curve, close to it. There we go, hit enter. And it says guess, we'll go ahead and hit yes. So the intersection it gives me, which once again is in radians, and we are trying to answer in degrees, we'll get x is approximately 5.1239058. Now we need to answer in degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear out the graph. How do we convert these to degrees? Well, once again, remember the conversion, you multiply them by 80 over pi. And when we do that, we'll end up with our theta values. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll do the 1.1592795 times 180 is 208.67031. Then we'll divide that by pi, so second pi. And we get the answer I had in the video, which is theta is approximately 66.42.
let's go ahead and do the conversion for this one. Hit clear. We have 5.1239058 times that by the 180. Once again, we're doing this to convert from radians to degrees. Then go ahead and divide that by pi. And we get the other theta I had in the video, 293.57, roughly. And there are our two answers. Hopefully this video helped you figure out with a calculator.